Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your premier source for Second Amendment news. A little late night update on something that happened in Virginia. Just was talking to my buddy, my dude, Eric Pratt, over at Gun Owners of America. And we have a temporary injunction. In the case that's working its way through the system right now, that uh, both VCDL and Gun Owners of America are working together on, is a case where this gentleman wants to sell some of his guns to two people. Uh, one adult and one who is under the age of 21. Now, in many states, just, uh, anybody under 21 can't own a firearm. Uh, however, in Virginia, that is different. You can still be under 21, uh, 18 or over, and still purchase a handgun via private sale. The problem is that the universal background check system that Northam and his cronies put through, thanks Michael Bloomberg, uh, it denies anybody under the age of 21 immediately because the federal law is the way it is. And it takes in, doesn't take into effect that uh, the, the way it's been happening in Virginia is that you can still do a private sale. What do I mean? Well, that universal background check requires private sales to go through a background check. And in order to do that, they're going to get denied because of the age of whoever it is that's under 21 and that in essence is a backdoor gun ban on anybody who's 18, 19, or 20 years old looking to purchase a firearm. The judge ruling over this case is Judge F. Patrick Yates, Y-E-A-T-T-S. I will have a link to his entire uh, decision. Again, it's just a temporary injunction and this could change, uh, but as of right now, he has exempted uh, anybody 18, 19, or 20 from that universal background check law that uh, the anti-gunners have passed in Virginia and for a private sale, I have to add that. And this is actually historic. Uh, from what I'm told, according to the Solicitor General in Virginia, no court has ever before issued a temporary order that invalidates an action of the General Assembly. Another thing that came out in this judge's uh, decision uh, so far throughout the case is that the the judge is going to allow the, this universal background check law to apply for people 21 and over for private sales in most cases because background checks can be considered quote a long-standing prohibition on a historically justified category and what does that mean it means that we can thank Wayne and the boys over at the NRA for creating this long-standing prohibition called the Nix check system. If you don't believe me, here's Wayne telling you the same thing. Look, and this is really important, and you never hear this on the national media, so I want to say it to all of you now, and I need your help in telling all of America this because it's the truth. The National Rifle Association originated the National Instant Check System. It was our bill. All right, guys, so this case is still moving forward. VCDL and GOA are pressing forward with this. Uh, stay tuned for more details. But a very significant victory has been had uh, against the acts of Northam and his crew. Uh, so if you are not already, please join the VCDL. Please join GOA. I'll have links down below where you can do that because the membership is the lifeblood of any organization. I am a member of both of them and you should be too. All right, guys and gals, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. This is where you're gonna get those updates right here on Guns and Gadgets. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a weapon. Have a good night. Look, and this is really important, and you never hear this on the national media. So I wanna say it to all of you now, and I need your help in telling all of America this, because it's the truth. The National Rifle Association originated the National Instant Check System. It was our bill.